All right, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Okay, y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all read the title under the thumbnail. The Young Dolph case continues. You want to know why? That boy, Black Youngster, I told y'all he put a big bullseye on his back. So, as the indictments come down, his entourage's name is popping up in those indictments. Alright? Again, I told y'all that that dude, Black Youngster, placed a huge bullseye on his back to protect uh, his lieutenant general in command. Who happens to be, y'all know who that is, Yo Gotti. Alright, cause guess what, Black Youngster knows his position on Yo Gotti's chessboard as a soldier slash knight. And y'all gotta understand this, because guess what he does? And he went to the full extent to make sure that nothing comes Yo Gotti's way after Young Dolph was sent up. Cause again, they knew what was gonna happen. If not so, he wouldn't have made that video dancing on Young Dolph Grave, quote unquote. All right. So y'all got to understand the reason that the reason the feds, the people own Black Youngster, because again, I told y'all he made that video and his not only did he make that video to become a target when he made that video, him him and his entourage became a target. And not just his entourage, who's ever part of Yo Gotti CMG is automatically going to be brought in for questioning because of this. All right? Now, especially when the word is that the footage looks to be the ones from Black Youngster's entourage who did the hit on Young, on young Dolph. All right? So again, Black Youngsters Entourage The footage that The, uh, the feds um, Had Retrieved from MPD Because MPD didn't want to put it out there like that That it was Some guys who happened to be Connected to uh, Black Youngster Through different people Associates that's in his entourage So yeah man that's why this whole investigation is getting deeper. Not only are those two suspects in custody, um, supposedly the footage are dealing with them two suspects that they have in custody right now that's part of uh, uh, Black Youngster's entourage, right? They also see that it ties them to uh, text messages and also phone calls made to Black Youngster from these two suspects that they picked up. And again, that's why they are automatically connecting Black Youngster to this whole Young Dolph being sent up. Because he has put too many targets on his back dealing with the video, dealing with the people he associated with that had beef with, beef with Young Dolph. And again, and they could see that uh, text messages and phone calls have been made to Black Youngster that was in his call log because everybody went through Black Youngster from Yo Gotti to make it all go as planned. And what y'all say all go as planned? The Young Dolph hit to make sure it all go as planned. So again, that's the reason why a lot of stuff is not connected to Yo Gotti because Black Youngster was playing his position as being a soldier, okay? And the people got to understand this when everything going as planned. And the reason why, this is another reason why Yo Gotti has not been around Black Youngster as of lately. Y'all been seeing Yo Gotti around guys like 42 Doug, ESTG. Um, he's just signed Mozzie. He's always with... Uh, money bag yo because money bag yo is putting putting hits out there so he has been distancing himself from um black youngster yo Gotti has been distancing himself himself from black youngster because he understands the height of this whole case and he knows that 
if it gets closer to him, which it already did, that he has to create other things to not be a part of it. Like soon, like soon as a lot of speculation start coming around him and his camp, CMG, as far as being close to Yo Gotti before he hit Black Youngster, he was he was being seen around Jay Z a lot. He even went to the extent of again of, of going to the West Coast and signing a West Coast artist to not make it seem like he's attached to none of this. Because even Yo Gotti can feel the heat and the tension coming from Black Youngster's way. And he don't want no parts of it. But that's why Black Youngster is there to take all the heat. Again, because he is the soldier slash knight on Yo Gotti's chessboard man he was that from the beginning that's why let's be real he got a couple hits but not like that and let's be real he's not really that good of a rapper man come on black youngster gets away with a lot of uh clown activities i could say he jokes a lot clown a lot i'm not clown i'm not calling him a clown i'm just saying like he's that that comedian guy he jokes all the time right so to me, with that being said, it covers up that he's really not that good of a rapper. And y'all can say all oh, you hate. Let's be real. The guys that's on CMG, he's probably last when it comes to rapping, right? Let's be real. Y'all know this. So again, the people out there have to understand. A lot of these rappers, right? They are just fronts. They are just front men hiding behind the bigger mobs. But again, they playing their role as a rapper to benefit the moves of the whole organization. Y'all can connect. It's a lot of people out here. It's a lot of rappers out here who are connected to a lot of, who got a lot of mob ties, right? Either because of uncle, father, or whoever it may be, right? And the people got to understand is this is the reason why uh, family connections, family, it runs deep. It can run deep based on how your family had it set up before you was even existing on this plane. So the reason why I'm saying that, because people don't know, because they're on the outside looking in, they just seeing a lot of rappers as dudes just coming off the streets and all this and that. That's not majority of the case. Majority of the case is that their fathers, their uncles, their grandfathers already played a role in the streets. But what they did was, again, the fathers, grandfathers, uncles, they connected them to, to let's say, uh, street mobs. They connected them to, to people that they know will watch their back right through this life. So, again, y'all can look at the history. Let's, let, let's say Big Meech, right? We understand Big Meech history and what it have created for his son. A lot of guys in the rap industry are like that, but they acting like, oh, I came from nothing. I ain't got nothing. Most of them guys, when they was born, again, um, their fathers, grandfathers, uncles already played a role of being in the streets. Already did, already uh, created all the, the street um, um, awareness, already got the, the street credibility is what I'm saying. So they don't have to do it. They putting on the front like they have to do it when that's far from the truth. Again, going back, a lot of these rappers are just fronts hiding behind the bigger mobs. Another example, and it has to do with BMF, is Jeezy. Jeezy was just a front guy. He was just a face for BMF, for a bigger mob. Y'all understand? It's the same thing with a lot of these guys who are in the rap game. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.